Christy Adams, good morning, beautiful day on the beach. Um, another book review, um, just a quick one but an absolutely brilliant book, I read it yesterday and it is called The Moscow Cipher by Scott Mariani, can't see it because it's faded with sun cream, you can see that, Moscow Cipher, Scott Mariani. Um, you, you must get fed up with me saying this, but I've not read his books before. Um, but it's really good and I'm not sure why I've missed his work before because it's just my type of book. It's got conspiracy theory, it's got action, it's a thriller, it's a mystery, um, all sorts. It's a bit like sort of Jack Reacher on adrenaline maybe, I don't know. But um, really, really good book, definitely recommended. I will be seeking out his books again. Um, it says that it's a Sunday Times bestseller, which I can totally believe. A lot of bestseller lists are a bit of a sort of financial or an advertising success. Whereas this one, um, I think the Sunday Times has a bit of credibility around the bestseller mark. So um, I, I can totally agree why, because it's brilliant. I would definitely give it to, I, there's nobody I wouldn't recommend it to. Um, definite page turner. I couldn't put it down. Um, I had to wait half an hour for my walk around the island just to finish it because I was so determined to get to the end because I needed to know what happened. Um, there's twists and turns. Um, all of it's really good. I can't really knock it. Some of it's predictable. That's what you expect with a thriller, that you expect to know certain things are going to happen in certain places in the book, but that's fine with me. I don't have a problem with that. Um, so, like I say, Scott Mariani. Um, I'm sure that he's probably ex-SAS or something himself. Um, from the research or he's got somebody extremely close to him who is and when you read his bio and that probably is why he lives the life that he does um, it doesn't say a lot about him personally other than he lives in a remote place in the UK and goes up onto the Brecon Beacons which the SAS seem to like so I think that's probably his background which is why the book's so informative so well read, written um, the facts in it all ring true um, it's strong um male readers will definitely like it but i think like me if you like conspiracy theories or the bigger picture um, and action then i think you'll definitely like these i'm not sure if any have been made into films but if they haven't then i, th I do think then the main character should be um major ben hope sas major ben hope he should definitely be a character that's in movies and um, you know the Jack Reach type of character so hopefully if they haven't been picked up yet somebody will pick up the movie rights on the series because when I've looked inside I was thinking oh a new author obviously not a new author because when I show you his list if I can find it which I bet I can't now I'm talking to you oh there we go um, this is the list of his other books you see that so obviously he's not just written one he's written quite a few which is my author model that I want to carry out now. I'm building my main character in my next book and it's I've got a trilogy already planned and my main hero is a woman, not an SAS major. Um, but I would definitely go and pick this book up and any of his other books. I'll probably get the others on ebook because I tend to only get paperbacks for holidays um, because then I can leave them in the library at the hotel and somebody else can get the benefit of it. So thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm not sure how quickly I'll read my next book because the print's tiny, so I've found out. So I will try and read that today. Um, and we've just been to see turtles being fed for breakfast. So that's not bad, is it? Not a bad lifestyle. So I'll put all the usual links down below in all my sort of places that you can find me. But go and see, seek out Scott Mariani. All right, speak to you later. Bye.